Well, what's up ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to be doing Mars in the sign of Virgo. And what happens when Mars comes into the sign of Virgo in your horoscope? Well, what is the sign of Virgo? Virgo represents organizing information. It represents looking for flaws in information. Why? Because Virgo is controlled by Mercury. Sign of communication, sign of speech. And Gemini is also controlled by Mercury. However, Gemini is about gathering ideas. Like, hey, I like this, I like that idea, I like that idea, I like that idea. So that's why they're like at 50 different places at one time. What Virgo does is that, okay, I got the idea, now let me organize it. Let me arrange it in a way where it looks neat and clean. And let me also look at the details to see if there are any flaws in this information ideas that I've gathered. So Virgo becomes that more of a logical side of Mercury. Okay, here, this is why Mercury is exalted here, because here Mercury's two in, true intelligence is put to work. Mercury organizes, arranges the idea, cleans the idea, you know, takes out all the flaws and presents it to people. So then you bring Mars into the sign of Mercury. Okay, and Mars is what? Mars is a royer. He's a soldier. He's your willpower. He's the fighting ability. He wants to go out, fight and win the battle for the king. That's what Mars represents. Mars is your energy. So then Mars, your willpower, your energy, your fighting ability goes into looking for details. You become that royer who digs for details, looks for details and say, hey, look, here's a flaw. Here's a flaw. I found it. I am the winner. That's what Mars does in Virgo. Like anytime it communicates, he will communicate based on all the details that he has gathered. Like here, Mars will wants to win an argument, okay? Because again, this is a communicative sign. Not just Gemini, but Virgo is also a communicative sign because it's still controlled by Mercury. But here, logic is put to test. Here, your organization skills put to test. So Mars feels that it's a battle to make sure that the, organize, the, the ideas that, that has been presented to him are organized, are put into logical manner, and are cleaned out of any flaws. Okay, and then he will present this as his strength that, hey, I got the information that you need and that's all good and it's all clean. So what this uh, placement really represents is somebody who's an attorney, somebody who looks at contracts, picks out all the nitpicks, all the flaws and details in the contract and said, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. And let me tell you why, because this, this, this and this. He becomes logical, he becomes argumentative, and he's able to criticize and pick all the details. So these people become criti critical of the, where the, wherever Mars is placed in your horoscope. These people will nitpick the details. They will try to organize the things related to that house. So let's say if Mars is in Virgo in the seventh house. These people will pick the flaws of their partner, their, op their, their spouse. They will say, you know, you do this, I don't like that. You do this, I don't like that. You do this, I don't like that. I think you should do this. I, don't, I think you should do this that way. I think you should do that way. And then if the spouse argues, they'll say, oh, no, 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 you're wrong. Let me present it to you. Why? Because see this, you did this wrong. You, you don't brush your teeth in the night. You don't brush your teeth at night and you don't shower and this does this. And then I have to smell you and blah, 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 blah. So they'll present it, present a logical argument. So it's very hard to win against these people because first of all, Mars is a fierce royer. He will not back down. He will fight. He will, he's not one of those people, oh, I'm sorry, okay, you win. No. That's more like Venus, Moon, or Jupiter. But Mars is here, no. Here, this is I am. But And in the sign of detail, where Mars doesn't really like, okay, because this is a sign of his enemy, Mercury. So Mars gets lost into the details. He feels that it's a battle to make sure that the, the work that has been given to him or the task related to his the house placement in your horoscope is well organized, clean, out of flaws, you know, and all the details are cleaned out. So it's kind of their fighting ability becomes of, uh, you know, presenting a logical argument to you. And then with the seventh house placement, it can be arguments with the spouse based on nitpicking all the critical details and then criticizing the spouse on that. This can also represent a good detective. Why? Because detective is a fighter, but he's not out there with his gun battling uh, the criminal. The crime is already done. 
He is now there to make sure that justice is served. And Mars is a warrior who is about justice. He wants to make sure that the kin king's rules are followed. So then, when Detective goes to work with Mars and Virgo, he looks for all the details. He is making sure that the crime scene is organized. He is looking for all the details and the flaws, what's here, what's not there. So they, be, they make really great detective because they're able to dig up information and present it to the enemy and defeat the enemy. So lawyers and detectives are seen from this. Also, you can see medicinal people, meaning that pharmaceutical people, people who are in ph as pharmacists, people who are into medication or Eastern medication, people who are into curing diseases. Okay, you can even see a surgeon with this, but obviously that Mars has to be in the ascendant or eighth house or tenth house. There are certain placement for that, but this represents, you know, like details of medicine, details of information, details of, you know, get, having a, a, a organized pattern in, a, in your life, which is all clean and squeaky clean, you know, and this can also give like a bit of an OCD disorder, especially in the ascendant. If Mars is in Virgo, that means your entire life is about then become becoming organized and fighting people to be uh, to for, for for what you have done. Like Mars in Gemini, who says, "Oh, I did this, so what?" You know. But here they're nitpicking and criticizing every aspect of their life, and this can lead to a little bit of uh, you know like that flaw in the brain where everything has to be organized every single time. Okay, so that's what Mars is in Virgo, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was my analysis of Mars in Virgo. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your Mars is placed, check out the link below. Check out my book, there, Astrology, The Speed of Light. And when you get the book, I will send you a link to look at your own chart. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. What? You actually made it this far into the video? All the way to the end? Man, you must be crazy! Well, since you're already crazy enough to go this far, then might as well join the insanity by clicking that little button above where it says subscribe here. Or you can subscribe below by that little button that you see below the video. And like I told you, if you want to know where your planets are placed, where your conjunctions are, what aspects you're receiving, what planetary time period you're running through, check out this corner link below. Okay, read the directions there because when you get the book, my Astrology at the Speed of Light book, and you follow the directions by sending me the email, I send you the link to look at your own chart so you can study everything about you. And if you want to re read some more articles on astrology and you know every little details that I've written on my website, check out this corner link below. And this will take you to my website and to my article page where I've written tons of stuff, okay? Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with some more insane video. Bye-bye.